pickles. Oh, there it is. Hey, Lee. <laughs> I didn't know if it was going or not. It Ooh, was. can't see anything. You can't. So today's a work day for us. Yes. <clears throat> but we wanted to do a weekend roundup edition. We did. So, pumpkin patch, you've seen some video. Well, that's all we had, really. Yeah, because we spent a lot of time running after a certain... A certain little man. 17-month-old. <laughs> he really didn't care about anything that was there. All he cared about was that he was free to run around. Well, he liked the helicopter. <clears throat> he did. And he liked the train ride. Yeah. Because he, he just stood there with you and watched everything. He was, yeah. he was down with the train he ride. He was. Hay ride. Nope. Not so much. Pumpkin patch when he realized he could not actually pick up a pumpkin. <laughs> That's right. He was no, dumb. Not so he was much. like, I'm free, I can run. And then it was kind of Mimi's job to run after him until his dad was like, I'm tired of this running around. And he came so at him and he said, I think we need to go home. <laughs> um, but it was fun. It was. It was, you know, it was kind of neat to compare from last year when he like hated pumpkins then too. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, he didn't do much last year, though. And now, because he was so itty-bitty, teeny-tiny. Yeah, and, was... and you saw me go down the big slide. That's kind of my tradition. Got to do it. Love it. Which is kind of crazy, because I'm not... I don't do, like, carnival rides and stuff. And I get motion sickness very easily, but that's yes. one thing I can handle. So then we went out. After that, we went to Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> Grabbed a quick bite. Saw their awesome service modeled in motion you know five thumbs up for chick-fil-a <laughs> <laughs> i mean they they were on game i mean the line was backed up out onto the street four cars and we still had our food in 10 minutes and it was really if even 10 minutes yeah. i mean it was just incredible it's like we're gonna be here forever 10 minutes later we got our food oh okay that's right then we went to see the Magnificent Seven. Which was really good. Remake. And I'm, I don't normally like remakes, but I think I almost like this remake better than the first one. I haven't seen the first one. I'm downloading it now, so we'll have to watch oh, okay. it. Oh, so okay. I, I mean, I'll watch it again, but... <clears throat> yeah. It was really good. Damsel Washington was excellent. All the characters were good. Oh, they really were. They really were good characters. And the guy who and played a good on... villain, them, too. Um... SUV. No, no, no. Criminal Intent. No, Criminal Intent. Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, he, he was, was good. wonderful. His yeah. character was just great. So. Especially, well, we don't want to do it. No, we're not going to do a spoiler. Spoiler free. Yeah, Look how here. bright the sunshine is this morning. I can't see. Yes, I can. Yes, he can. Um, so, yeah. Then, so, then we get this text before going to the movies. Yes. And the kid, well, we see the kids. Now, we... We call them the kids because they're the youngest yes. married couple. Because <laughs> we would never call Josh, Jeremy, and Jamie like the kids. No, we wouldn't. We call Christopher and Vika the kids. Yes. They said that they were in Carrie because one of the young ladies that Christopher is personal trainer to was in a weightlifting, what they call that power drill competition. I think it's for the Olympics. Something, but she placed but, second or third. Yeah. And um, so, ooh, is that car meant to be there? Uh, yeah. Um, so they were there, and Carrie had said, What are y'all doing afterwards? Well, Chris's mom was making me meatloaf. Made him meatloaf. That's why we went. She said, I'm making meatloaf this week, and Chris is like, I love your meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what can a mom say when your son says that, no matter how old you are? So she, because she's awesome like that, had made a double batch of meatloaf. And so we went, and the kids came over, and we had the best meatloaf. She makes hers with ground sirloin and sausage. And it is just... It's very good. I was stuffed. It was good. Yeah. But let me tell you who ate you under the table. <laughs> Our son Christopher, who stands about 6'5", <coughs> but his little five-foot wife, she, she had thirds on the meatloaf. Yeah, she did. Yeah. And she's just 
just she tiny little she thing. She on down. She did. And Christopher even admitted, it's like, you know, we power eat about the same. <laughs> power eating. Yeah. Power eating. Um, so, yeah. That, it was a, a, just a great day. Yeah. Wonderful day. Anytime that I can see two out of the four children. Yeah, it's a good day. So, we are headed <coughs> down east today to do some work, something yeah. we haven't been able to do for a while because of the flooding, and we are going we'll to... we'll see how things are. Yeah. Um, if we run across anything, we'll, we'll shoot some video. We will, because um, Christopher said that it's not just flooding, that the whole infrastructure of some roads was taken down. Yeah. That's why I-95 is still closed. Yeah. Because the bridge has been so undercut that they can't let traffic go over or something. Anyway, that's that. We will, um, I gotta get some coffee. You brought, <coughs> brought my cup, so. I already have my morning, will, morning brew. That would be will, sweet uh, tea. We shall return if there's anything worthy of returning for. And Otherwise, you may not see a lot of me this coming up week or the next week. Because I'm going on a girl's getaway with my friend Kathy to the mountains. Will you miss me? Yes, I will. I'll miss you too. But if I can figure out how to do short things on my phone, because Chris does most of the editing and whatnot, then I'll show you some pictures, because we're going to go up near Cherokee in North Carolina. And we've got a bunch of fun things planned that our husbands probably just would not be doing for. <coughs> there's going to be yarn shops. There's going to be thrift stores. There's yeah. It'll be good. Happy to be home. <laughs> and this is why it's a girl's getaway. That's right. Yeah. Um, and, and I get to go to um, Sequoia Baptist up in Cherokee, which um, one of the pastors we really respect, Tim James, pastors that church. And so I'm excited about going up and visiting him. Because the last time, I might have gone up and taken my mom after my dad died, but... I know that the last time you and I were both there was right before my father passed away. Yeah. Um, we were up there in October and he passed away in April, so yeah, it'll be good to go back and see those folks. So anyhow, um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe, be our friends, and we will talk at you later.